All right, I did not build this three bedroom house for only two people to live in it. I need you to populate. Stat, come on, let's go. Let's get it, let's go. Come on, come on, okay. Woo wee, look at them go. <laughs> Wait, what was that? Oh. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Alexandra and today I am building a cute little suburban home. I actually really enjoy seeing the way suburban homes are built because even though they're the, not the most structurally complex, I would say. I mean, <laughs> oh god, that sounded so bad. But th they're not really that complex in terms of structure. I do enjoy seeing them being built because that's the type of home that I think people encounter on the day-to-day -day for the most part. And they're really pretty too, like especially if they're well done. Like I've seen a lot of suburban homes in real life where kind of they have no forethought about where they plan the windows and you look at the back and you're like geez okay well all right <laughs> um but i do like sort of planning you know that's always been my thing planning the windows and the structure of the entire home first because then when you can do it from the inside like i don't know maybe it gives you a little bit more of a challenge but also at the same time you sort of look at that and it looks nice from the outside so the curb appeal isn't um, sacrificed for the inside lighting structure and then usually somehow I find a way to make it work from the inside as well but this is something that I really like working on uh, the Sims 14 for some reason still continues to tease us about cars they decided to give us like these garage doors from I think they were city living if I'm not mistaken I can't really remember which pack they're from but uh, we don't have cars yet and I feel kind of duped so uh, <laughs> they did work very well I decided that because this family clearly doesn't have any sort of cars then that garage space is obviously going to be made for some sort of skill building uh, area and I use the terrain manipulation because also another thing that I kind of have a little bit of trouble with the Sims is that we do not yet possess the ability to uh, kind of break up the foundation and what I mean by that is basically if I have one part of the home on a foundation if I want to have another adjoining unit or <laughs> unit but like area not on a foundation you can't do that you can now make a different uh, foundation and raise it up that's separate from the building itself and that's fine that's good but I couldn't make the garage smaller uh, or lower than the entire home if I wanted them connected so I had to do the terrain manipulation and I'm not really good at terrain manipulation at all it sucks I hate it and for some reason it's a very troublesome tool for me to work with I know that there's a lot of other simmers out there who do a fabulous job Job at terrain manipulation but not I not me sir never <laughs> and um, so it took me like over 30 minutes to get it together and you know what honestly I'm not mad at it it's as best as it could be for that moment uh, for me being a you know newbie at terrain manipulation and you know what I'm not gonna go too hard on myself because why do I need that but anyway uh, in this home this home is definitely meant for sims that are very mm, what's the word like they have a lot of hobbies they love skill building there's a lot of skill building items on this lot so one in particular that i usually don't use on any other lot is the cupcake machine because it's not really a point of it's not a hill that i'm gonna die on but i usually don't use it because it's a very specific aesthetic at least what i see because that particular item has this steampunk kind of like big factory look to it <laughs> big factory I don't know it has this factory look to it and so it doesn't really fit inside of a residential home or at least in my perspective it doesn't so this was like the one time that I was like okay they have a big garage dedicated for activities they have a woodworking table they have a lot of the things that come with uh, eco living especially at that fizzy drink station right so you know that your sims can make moonshine on this lot <laughs> No, they can't, but they can make fizzy drinks, they can woodwork, they can draw, they can, you know, paint, whatever. And I decided to do this thing that I thought was actually really cute. So I've seen like garages or uh, attached garages have a room at the top, like it's a tiny room at the top, but it's hidden. And you can only see that it's a space that's made use of because it has windows. So I decided to do that and I wanted to make like a little kids hangout area and it turned out actually really interesting. I loved the way that it turned out. Um, there was this one thing on my 
Instagram page. Yeah, my Instagram page. No, my Instagram page that I have this thing going on right now. So if you want to check it out, more than welcome to. Let me actually talk about that right now quickly. It's a thing that I'm doing where I want to dedicate more videos to my viewers in terms of making more content that is geared towards my viewers. It's like, what do you want to see? And so I decided to um, make like a suggestions box that I post every day on my story for a week. And I save the suggestions and whoever, it's not really the most creative idea because a lot of people come up with some really interesting creative ideas. But what I do is I put in the amount of suggestions I have into a random number generator and then I just pick whichever one it spits out, I count down, I use that one. So, and then I build it and then I want to, you know, dedicate that video to my um, follower, my subscriber. But that's the that's not like the caveat, but that's like the rule. You have to be subscribed and follow me on Instagram in order for me to make that video. I decided to do them, I think, maybe once a month, not once a week, because even though I deliver content every other day, albeit at random times, <laughs> um, whether it's three o'clock or seven o'clock, yeah, more likely like 7 p.m., but I wanted to do it like once a month because if it so happens that they pick like a big lot right like someone suggests like oh can you do a monastery i would want to do that right because it got picked i'm not gonna you know disqualify them just because it's big right it's all about making cool creative lots for my subscribers slash followers so what i sorry one second oh Sorry, I had like an itch. <laughs> that sounds terrible. But uh, yeah, anyway, I wanted that to be dedicated to. So I'm not just going to tell them like, no, I'm not going to do a big build for you. I decided to do that. Go ahead and do that. But it's going to make me take, take me a month to work on that. And so for one week out of every month, um, the suggestions box is open. You can write anything in. I will not look at comments that I will not look at comments because they're all meant to be direct, you know, deposited I don't know written into the suggestions box and um yeah that's that but we are working and by we once again I mean me I am working on the outside and it has like this very Instagram influencer look about it because if you look at that flower wall every Instagram influencer I've ever seen loves like those decorative walls because they're super pretty and you get to take as many pictures as you want and I figured I was like I don't know maybe the family that has that has like a really pretty wall like that so I really did not skip on any I, this is not a limited pack build by any means because that wasn't really the design. I wanted this to be a big home with a lot of character and a lot of personality. So I decided not to limit myself on the amount of items and amount of packs. And it actually it turned out very well. So it's a three bedroom, two bathroom home. And it comes in at about 110,000 simoleons, which is a pretty penny, I guess, for, a, you know, but it's a video game as well. So if you want to like free real estate cheated on, you know, I'm ready there to support you guys for it. Uh, but yeah, anyway, guys, we're getting really close to the end of the video. And I just want to say, if you're with me here this long, I appreciate it. And if you like this video or you like any other video on my channel, please consider leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing because it means you support this content and you support me. And I'm always more than welcome to leave you videos every other day, albeit at times that you can't predict because I can't predict them. I wake up at three, <laughs> three in the afternoon most days. Oh my God, I feel terrible um, admitting that. But but anyway, guys, love you so much and have a great day. Bye.